So I'm going to assume that you ran into the same problem as I did, and that's the installation of the Foundry license utility. So I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot this. But first, I would recommend you watch the video on the description that will show you how to install it from beginning to end. And then if you run into any trouble, come back and watch this. So same goes to the new people clicking on this. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the video on the description. If you want to install the Foundry Nuke 10 or 9, whatever version, the files that's on that link um, will give you the files that you need to successfully install the Foundry Nuke 9 for free. But definitely come back and watch this because I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot some of the stuff that will come your way. So basically what you want to do first is after you successfully um, follow the process of the link under the description, you're going to want to go here, the Foundry License Utility, Run Diagnostics, and then you're going to scroll down until you see these errors. And right next to those errors will show you what you need to fix. My errors were the system ID was too long because in the video in the description would tell you to copy your system ID which is this and paste it on the system ID here on this file right here the exit foundry license so everything that we have to fix will be right here on this top part and then the next error that I had was not putting in a port number see in the video in the description it doesn't show you which port to put. It doesn't tell you that you need to put a certain port number. So the error told me you need to put in port 4101. And I did, and it actually ran successful now. See? So follow the directions um, in the link in the description. And if you run into any problems, like I said, come back and watch this. Because those were the little issues I had to fix. And after you do that, after you fix the XF Foundry license, what you do is you close it and you see this file, copy it, and then you're going to want to go to Library, Application Support, the Foundry, RLM, and paste it in here. You're going to do the same thing in this file, the FLEX IM, and paste it in here. And then go back, go into the log and paste it inside the log as well. And again, go back to the FLEX IM, go to log and paste it in there. And that's it. You should be done with that. Assuming that you've um, did this correctly, it should work. And like I said, um, don't copy the whole thing. The first time around, or actually, yes, copy the whole thing and paste it inside the XF Foundry li uh, license. And then the errors will tell you that, oh, you need to put this. You need to only put this. And after you do that, then just scroll down and match what I have right now. I'm going to show you what the diagnostics looks like when it's successfully installed. So we're going to scroll down now. See? Having this orange, that's okay. That's perfect. You see how this is red? Nothing to worry about. The RLM server script? Yeah, that's perfectly fine. The FLEXIM server log? That's fine. Again, that's okay. And if you need to pause this, go ahead and pause it, you know, if I'm going too fast scrolling.
And that's it. So once you successfully uh, fix those issues, you should be able to open this. This is how it looks when you open it. Voila. And if you want to check to see if you got a permanent license, you have a permanent license for Nuke Studio. That's how you know.